While the current hype around artificial intelligence has its origins in Silicon Valley, the technology and its applications have been quietly coming of age in some unexpected places. Trondheim is the tech capital of Norway, home to a major university, startups, and the start of our project on AI. Pretty much everyone agrees AI is going to transform society, including the jobs we do. But how far and how fast is that going to happen? So we set ourselves the challenge of seeing if we can get an AI to do my job. And I've come to Trondheim to meet someone who can help us answer that question. Chris is a YouTuber and coder who's been experimenting with how to automate tasks with the latest AIs like the leading language model ChatGPT. I was quite surprised that am I only the one using this? Mm -hmm. Because I felt it really increased my productivity. Anyone can prompt ChatGPT to write a news report, but we wanted to do what others haven't done and make the AI prompt itself to be the journalist. Chris built our AI reporter on a backbone of Python computer code and ChatGPT. It gathers story ideas using a crawler, software that scans the web for the latest news and video. To simulate the thought process of a reporter, two ChatGPT agents work together. First, an AI reporter pitches what it thinks are the best stories. Then an AI editor critiques the reporter's work. The AI reporter can then suggest interviewees and generate an image before writing an article and producing a TV report. With a few taps, our new recruit gets to work. It's going to create eight different IDs, mm -hmm. so we can probably see those IDs popping up soon. Yeah, you can see the IDs yeah. here now. So we have, we're trying to feel up the synergy between the editor and the reporter. So that is the basic idea here. Got it. The first story it came up with was about the impact of rising interest rates on homeowners. Not bad, okay. but not very original. So we ran it again. This is... <laughs> A very polite editor here. All, yeah. all of your ideas are compelling, report, AI reporter. I think the story entitled Impact of Heat Waves on UK Public Health. Well, it's pretty relevant. Yeah, I guess. So we kind of want some data to back that up. OK. And we can see some of the results here. 2019 UK heat wave and effects on hospital emissions. So there's some pretty bold claims in the article about the increase in heat waves, the direct link to increased you know, illness and death. Can we take those as fact? Uh, no, you really shouldn't do that because the model is kind of trained on that. It always wants to give a good response, right? Most of our AI's pitches were pretty sensible, a few definitely not. In a later run of our model, it had an idea based on a real event, a milk lorry crash on the M6. But its story and AI-generated images claimed scientists had subsequently discovered spilled milk made roads safer. We could find no such evidence. But if you can't really find a good response, it's always going to make something up. That is kind of what we call hallucinations. And in, in my business, what you'd call yeah, misinformation or lying. Yeah, exactly. Which is, OK. Next, our AI reporter identifies experts to interview and composes questions to them. It could email its interviewees directly, but we decided they may not welcome an unsolicited approach from an AI, so we sent its emails ourselves. Now, about 20 minutes after we set it running, a news article is ready. This is the heat wave havoc. Unravelling the UK's escalating health crisis amid rising temperatures. Our AI reporter's next task is creating an image for its article. <laughs> but I don't think, is this Sky it's, News ready? No, I wouldn't <laughs> say. It's possibly a little bit too fantastical. And also the sun looks a bit more like a, you yeah. know, a nuclear weapon going off Oops, than yeah, the actual. Kinda. But it's got the right idea and certainly shimmering heat mm -hmm. going on there. Okay. But perhaps its toughest challenge is producing a TV report. And once it got the reporter saying, the reporter stands in a cityscape showing London under a clear, hot sky. And the reporter says, as climate change remains unabated, being prepared is our best line of defence against the blistering onslaught of a hotter future. I mean, wow. <laughs> its ability to write short, punchy sentences, suggest where pictures should go, the fact the pictures are relevant to what's going on, that's, that surprised me. Yeah, I think it's kind of looked at, when it was trained, it kind of read thousands of different TV news scripts. Yeah. And it tries to just emulate what it learned from that. We associate things like this with hotter, drier countries than our own. Back in London, the next task is to use different types of AI and a human volunteer to give our reporter a personality. Our producer Hannah lending her face and voice to train an avatar. I have been trained using a four-minute video clip of Hannah speaking into camera. 
it's pretty convincing to me. Yeah, that would fool me. A few days later, our reporter has a persona. Now that process is complete, I can say whatever text you type in. All that remains is to feed our avatar the AI reporter's script. So has our experiment worked? In my next report, we'll put that to the test. Is a collection of AIs without real awareness or the ability to think simply not up to the task? Or have I done myself out of a job? I'm pretty impressed, I have to say. Tom Clark, Sky News.